here we will go over a very simple refinery flow. This is a much simpler scheme than uh, we have included in lesson one for different types of uh, refinery processes, separation, finishing, conversion and support. Here what we would like to do is to connect crude oil feed to these major refinery products starting with LPG, the lightest, gasoline, jet fuel, fuel oil, asphalt and coke. Uh, one point uh, to make, you look at the number of arrows that go to gasoline, which really shows the significance of this product as the major product in uh, U.S. refineries, the gasoline. Quite a few different processes uh, just produce gasoline. Of course, jet fuel and diesel also are important refinery products. So let's look at uh, the, uh, the processes that we can use to connect the crude oil to these major products. Uh, here again, crude oil goes through desalting and distillation and through the light ends unit separations we produce the first product LPG or liquefied petroleum gas that is essentially propane and butane. The light straight run NAFTA coming from the light ends unit go through uh, blending to the gasoline pool and from the atmospheric distillation unit kerosene and light gas oil go through hydro treatment to produce jet fuel and diesel. So you can see here that using just separation and finishing processes we could produce LPG, straight run gasoline which would be low octane number and jet fuel and diesel without any conversion process. We bring in two additional separation processes, de-waxing and de-asphalting you would remember the waxing would produce uh, the lubricating oil base stock and the wax as byproduct and the asphalting treating the uh, vacuum distillation resid would separate out asphalt and produce a uh, deasphalted oil for further conversion so we have pretty much exhausted our separation processes you can see there are still quite a few arrows pointing nowhere so we need to go to our conversion processes to connect to our final products. Here are uh, our conversion processes uh, in color purple starting from uh, the left hydro cracking treats the heavy vacuum gas oil to make uh, additional jet fuel and diesel. This breaking takes the VDR from the vacuum distillation process and produces uh, fuel oil Moving to the right, catalytic cracking takes the feed from the uh, distillation unit, could be a light gas oil or heavy gas oil, to produce gasoline. This is the major gasoline production path. And the byproducts from cat cracking goes through alkylation to make additional gasoline, high octane number gasoline. And the heavy NAFTA, straight heavy NAFTA coming from the light ends unit through hydro treatment goes through reforming to make another high octane gasoline stream. And finally the VDR from the uh, vacuum distillation could go through coking to make additional gasoline as well as the byproduct coke. Finally, we will use the two uh, major supporting processes, hydrogen production and sulfur recovery, to connect all the arrows. You know that hydrogen is used to remove sulfur in uh, the crude oil fractions as hydrogen sulfide, and hydrogen sulfide is converted to elemental sulfur in the sulfur recovery unit and elemental sulfur is uh, sold as a refinery product. So that completes our uh, simple refinery flow.